devised a plan to get revenge on being the victim of one of Eisenstein's pranks, shows up, and he cajoles Eisenstein into attending a masquerade party on his way to prison. What else would you do on your way to prison than get dressed in tails and white tie and go to a party? But he is mis uh, and then enter Alfred, the Rosalinda lover, hot to take advantage. He's mistaken by the jailer as the husband. He's carted off to jail, and later at a party hosted by Count Orlovsky, Eisenstein is dazzled by the mysterious Hungarian countess, who is none other than his wife in disguise, determined to prove her husband's infidelity. So, as with all operettas, the plot is entirely convoluted, uh, but what glorious music we're about to hear. It's my pleasure to introduce our cast, soprano Rochelle Bard, who has sung Norma, Il Trovatore, and Mary Queen of Scots with us, mezzo-soprano Aubrey Odell, who has performed in our Romeo and Juliet production, along with dozens of community and education programs, tenor Aaron Short, who has sung principal roles in our main stage production of Lucia di Lammermoor, and our touring production of Turando, and many concerts. Finally, we welcome ba Ma Michael Roma, who has joined the family of Knoxville Opera performers just this year. And so off we go to Vienna.
husband's life of crime before I go to prison. Come kiss me just one more time. No, I must be on my way for I must go to a soiree. Let's leave without delay. So let us leave without delay. Surely we'll meet my husband as well. Perhaps we shall be in the very same cell. Be still, I implore. You may be sure. Be still, I implore. You may be sure. Don't ever abdicate. My horse and carriage wait. So come, we shall be late. My lovely, lively pigeon house is nice as it can be. The birds who flutter in and out get thrown in lodging free. I just have one more vacancy, a cozy little nest. If you will kindly come with me, it will be yours immediately. Don't miss this opportunity to be my honored guest. If it must be, then I shall go. Do it for me. Then be it so. Come on, let's go. I'll go, but not before I've kissed my wife once more. Oh, my friend, now please be Another kiss will make me brave. Oh, no, enough. You must be gone. One last kiss, and then I'll be fortified. 
not domestic bliss, my friend, or there will never be an end. Enough, enough, my friend. My lovely, lively kitchen house is nice as it can be. The birds of birds are in and out, get full and loud and free. I just have one more vacancy, a cozy little nest. And is it a bit too little to be my other guest? I do not care for you. 
watch is slow. Tell me what time it is. From a minor so does not go, for it is already gone. Charming lady, I am asking, would you mind unmasking? Let me see whom I adore and who stole my watch before. Too cruel. <laughs> oh, she is a fool. Indeed, she is no goddess fool. Are you afraid? Go ahead. Then go ahead. Perhaps she will awaken. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. It has to be now or never. Darling, do not hide from me. Here's a freckle on my nose. Flater Mouse. Give us a few minutes and we're going to set up for West Side Story.
uh, the impresario crawl that we have created today, uh, it, this is kind of a little reminder that it's important for all of us to shop local here in downtown. Uh, businesses uh, participating today in the Impresario Trail are offering one-day specials, so as you come and go today, you probably don't want to miss seeing what they have to offer. We're talking about Bistro at the Bijou, Dotso's, which is right over there, Petro's Chili and Chips up on the square, Knoxville Soap Candle and Gifts, that's also right over there, French Market, Phoenix Pharmacy and Fountain, Status Dome, Marvel Maple Hall, and Babalu. They all have something to give to you today, so please go pick up your gifts, treats, and the meals before they are gone. Now, Cal, West Side Story is something you've known your whole life. Have you directed it? Never directed it. It's, nope. the, it's one on the bucket list that didn't get checked at it's CBT. It's one on the bucket list that didn't get checked. Didn't get checked. Well, West Side Story, for those folks who uh, don't know it well, it takes about a billion dollars to produce West Side <laughs> Story properly with all the dancers. So uh, let's hear about it. Great. Can you all hear me? Excellent. Since its premiere on Broadway in 1957, West Side Story has earned the reverence and appreciation of generations of theater goers as one of the greatest musicals of all time. Its dark themes, sophisticated music, extended dance sequences, and focus on social problems marked a turning point in the musical theater. Based on the play by William Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet, its themes of racial prejudice and intolerance are as challenging today as they were in the Renaissance. It took the collective genius of composer Leonard Bernstein, author Arthur Lawrence, and lyricist Stephen Sondheim to create the musical. It took the vision of director-choreographer Jerome Robbins to bring it to life, and a production that lives on to this very day in theaters around the world. A side note about the contribution of Stephen Sondheim. West Side was Sondheim's first big professional break, and he was to dominate the musical theater world for the next 30 or more years. Imagine the challenge to bring words to the extraordinary Bernstein score that can compare with the lyricism of Shakespeare's beautiful language. Take, for example, the introductory duet of Tonight, West Side's answer to Shakespeare's peerless balcony scene. First, Tony. And there's nothing for me but Maria. Every sight that I see is Maria. Tony, Tony, always you. Every thought I'll ever know. Everywhere I go, you'll be. All the world is only you and me. The words weave and flow off the tongue as easily and conversationally as Shakespeare's duo. First, Romeo. Lady. By yonder blessed moon, I swear, oh, swear not, by the moon, the unconstant moon, that monthly changes in her circled orb, lest that thy love prove likewise variable. What shall I swear by? Do not swear at all. Or if you wilt, swear by thy gracious self, and I'll believe thee. West Side Story is set in the Upper West Side of Manhattan, where members of the Jets a white gang, tangle with the sharks, young Puerto Rico gang members. Tony, a former member of the Jets and best friend to the gang's leader, falls in love with Maria, newly emigrated sister of the shark leader. To sing the memorable music of West Side Story, it's my pleasure to introduce the cast. Soprano Maria Clark, who has performed with Knoxville Opera in Knoxville Opera Goes to Church concert and a concert at Sacred Heart Cathedral, and the distinguished international tenor Norman Schenkel, who is due to sing the Barber of Seville this at Knoxville Opera in April, but you all know what happened this year. They will be accompanied by Knoxville Opera's artistic director, Brian Seleski.
Something just any day I will know right away Soon as it shows And make them cannonballing down To the sky gleaming its eye Bright as a rose Who knows It's only just out of reach Down the block on a beach Under a tree I got a feeling there's a miracle do gonna come true, coming to me. Could it be? Yes, it could. Something's coming, something good. If I can wait, something's coming. I don't know what it is, but it is gonna be great. With a click, with a shock, phone will jingle, door will knock. Open the latch, something's coming, don't know when, but it's soon. Catch the moon, one handed catch around the corner, a whistling down the river. Come on, deliver to me. it will, maybe just by holding still, if it'll be there, come on something, come on in, don't be shy, meet a guy, pull up a chair, the air is humming, and something great is coming, who knows? It's only just out of reach, down the block, on a beach, maybe tonight. Imagine being afraid of you. You see? I see you. See only me. Only you. You're the only thing I'll see forever. In my eyes, in my words, and in everything I do, nothing else but you. And there's nothing for me but Maria. Every sight that I see is Maria. Tony, Tony. Always you, every thought I'll ever know. Everywhere I go, you'll be.
Cannot stay. Go quickly. I'm not afraid. They are strict with me, please. I love you. Yes, yes, hurry, go. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Wait, when will I see you? Tomorrow. I work at the bridal shop, come there. At sundown. Yes, good night. Good night. Tony? Shh. Come to the back door. See. Si. Tony, what does Tony stand for? Anton. Te adoro, Anton. Te adoro, Maria. most beautiful sound I ever heard. Maria, 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 Maria. All the beautiful sounds of the world in a single word. Maria, 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 Maria. I've just met a girl named Maria, and suddenly that name will never be the same to me. Maria, I've just kissed a girl named Maria, and suddenly I found how wonderful a sound can be. Maria, say it loud and there's music playing. Say it soft and it's almost like praying. Maria, I'll never stop saying Maria. Music 
say it's soft and it's almost like praying. Maria, I'll never stop saying Maria. The most beautiful sound I ever heard. Maria. I, Anton, take thee, Maria. I, Maria, take thee, Anton. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to honor. To hold and to keep. From each sun to each moon. From tomorrow to tomorrow. From now to forever. Till death do us part. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. Make up
should be organized to honor me. I feel dizzy, and so sunny. I feel dizzy and funny and fine. I'm so pretty. Miss America can just resign.
Maria Clark and Norman Shankel, West Side Story. Give us a few minutes and we will be back with The Music Man. something completely different. In 1958, Broadway premiered Meredith Wilson's homage to the hard-headed culture of the American Midwest circa 1910. His musical was so popular that The Music Man was awarded the best musical of the year at the Tony Awards that season, beating out none other than West Side Story. Knoxvillians may remember several local productions of, no of The Music Man. In 1987, Knoxville Opera produced the show, and in 2011, the Clarence Brown produced it. The musical boasts not only the Broadway song, first one ever, on only one ever recorded by the Beatles, Till There Was You, a pleasant track, but without the musical drama Barbara Cook soaring soprano. The plot concerns con man Harold Hill, who poses as a boys band organizer, its band leader, and the only seller of the band instruments and uniforms required. Professor Hill promises to train the members of the new band, but actually intends to skip town once the citizens of River City part with their money. River City's librarian and local piano teacher, Marion Peru, initially sees through this scheme, but when Harold inspires new confidence in her younger brother and helps him overcome his shame of his lisp, Marion begins to believe in him, even if he doesn't really believe in himself. In the end, Harold risks being caught to win her heart, and Marion, already won, puts the band together. It is my pleasure to introduce our cast, soprano Jacqueline Brickeen, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Perfect. <laughs> Soloist in over 100 Knoxville Opera education and community programs, mezzo-soprano Aubrey Odell, <laughs> who has appeared in KO's production of Romeo and Juliet, along with dozens of community concerts, and baritones Frank Rosamond Sr. and Frank Rosamond Jr., <laughs> both appearing with Knoxville Opera for the first time today. They will be accompanied by impresario Knoxville Opera's artistic director, Mr. Brian Seleski. Well, either you are closing your eyes to a situation you do not wish to acknowledge, or you are not aware of the caliber of disaster indicated by the presence of a pool table in your community. Well, you've got trouble, my friend. Right here, I say trouble right here in River City. Why, sure, I'm a billiard player. Certainly mighty proud to say it. I'm always mighty proud to say it. I consider that the hours I spend with a cue in my hand are golden. Help you cultivate horse sense with a cool head and a keen eye. Did you ever take and try to give an ironclad leave to yourself from a three-rail billiard shot? 
But just as I say it takes judgment, brains, and maturity to score in a buck line game, I say that any move can take and shove a ball in a pocket. And I call that slot. First big step on the road to the depths of degradation. I say first medicinal wine from a teaspoon, then beer from a bottle. And the next thing you know, your son is playing for money in a pinchback suit and listening to some big out-of-town Jasper hearing him tell about horse race gambling. Not a wholesome trotting race, no, but a race where they set down right on a horse. Like to see some stuck-up jockey boy sitting on Dan Pat's make your blood boil, well, I should say. Now, friends, let me tell you what I mean. You got one, two, three, four, five, six pockets in a table, pockets that mark the difference between a gentleman and a bum with a capital B, and that rhymes with P, and that stands for pull. And all week long, your River City youth will be frittering away. I say, your young men will be frittering. Frittering away their noontime, supper time, chore time, too. Get the ball in the pocket, never mind getting dandelions pulled, or the screen door patched, or the beefsteak found it. Never mind pumping any water till your parents are caught with the cistern empty on a Saturday night, and that's trouble. Oh, we got lots and lots of trouble. I'm thinking of the kids in the knickerbocker, shirt-tailed young ones, peeking in the pole hall window after school. We got trouble. Folks right here in River City. Trouble with the capital T, and that rhymes with P, and that stands for pool. Now, I know all you folks are the right kind of parents, so I'm going to be perfectly frank. Would you like to know what kind of conversation goes on while they're loafing around that hall? They'll be trying out Bevo, trying out Cubans, trying out Taylor Mates like cigarette beans, and bragging all about how they're going to cover up a telltale breath with sense. And one fine night, they leave the pool hall, headed for the dance at the armory. Libertine men, scarlet women, and ragtime. Shameless music that'll drag your son, your daughter, to the arms of a jungle, animal instinct, masteria. Friends, the idle brain is the devil's playground trouble. Oh, we got trouble. Right here in River City. Right here in River City. With a capital T and that rhymes with P and that stands for full. That stands for full. We surely got trouble. We surely got trouble. Right here in River City. Right here. Got to figure out a way to keep the young ones moral after school. Our children's children gonna have trouble. Mothers of River City, heed this warning before it's too late. Watch for the telltale signs of corruption. The minute your son leaves the house, does he rebuckle his knickerbockers below the knee? Is there a nicotine stain on his index finger? A dime novel hidden in the corn crib? Are certain words creeping into his conversation? Words like swell and so's your old man. Well, if so, my friends, we got trouble. Right here in River City. Right here in River City. With a capital T and that rhymes with P and that stands for pull. We surely got trouble. We surely got trouble. Right here in River City. Right here. Remember the Maine, Plymouth Rock, and the Golden Rule. Our children's children gonna have trouble. Oh, we got trouble. We're in terrible, terrible trouble. That game with the 15 numbered balls is the devil's tool. Oh yes, we got trouble, trouble, trouble. Oh yes, we got trouble here. We got I'm with me.
what can I do, my dear, to catch your ear? I love you madly, madly, madam librarian. Marion, heaven help us if the library caught on fire and the volunteer hell's brigade men had to whisper the news to Marion. Madam Librarian What can I say, my dear, to make it clear? I need you badly, badly, Madam Librarian Marion, if I stumbled and I busted my whatchamacallit I could lie on your floor unnoticed Till my body had turned to cash Madam Librarian Now in the moonlight A man could sing it In the moonlight And a fellow would know that his darling had heard every word of his song with the moonlight helping along. But when I try in here to tell you, dear, I love you madly, madly, Madam Librarian. Marion, it's a long lost cause I can never win for the civilized world accepts with unforgivable sin Any talking out loud With any librarian Such as Marion Madam Librarian Again, Rose, light a rose, or light a rose, or light a rose. Dream of now, dream of then, dream of the love so that might have been. 
Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, let me say it once again. Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, that's the town that knew me when. If you'd like to have a logical explanation how I happened on this elegant syncopation, I will say without a moment of hesitation that there is just one place that can light my face. Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, not Louisiana, Paris, France, New York, or Rome. But Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, my home sweet home. If you'd like to have a logical explanation how I happened on this elegant syncopation, I can say without a moment of hesitation that there is just one place that can light my face. Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, not Louisiana, Paris, France, New York, or Rome. But Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, my home sweet home. How I happened on this elegant syncopation I will say without a moment of hesitation There is just one place that can light my face Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana Not Louisiana, Paris, France, New York, or Rome But Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana My home logical explanation how I happened on this elegant syncopation I will say without a moment of hesitation there is just one place that can light my face salesman to stay put. I know there have been many ports of call, and there will be many more, but that's no reason for me not to be grateful for what you will have left behind for me.
Cynthia, can you hear me? Now you can. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to uh, point out one of the most interesting things about the music man, at least to us musicians, is that Meredith Wilson used one tune for two songs. Good Night, My Someone, which we've already heard, is the ballad version of the march we are about to sing, 76 trombones. It's exactly the same melody, but that's what happens when you take one great tune and say, how about it slow and how about it fast? So two for the price of one. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Thank you so much, and thanks to Meredith Wilson for a great music man. We're going to take a couple of minutes and get set for our next section, which is the Barber of Seville. Seville segment, I wanted to let you know, in case you're not aware, that we have something called an impresario trail today out here locally in our streets. Uh, it's important for all of us to shop local in downtown particularly. Uh, there are specials available today at Bistro at the Bijou, Dotso's Pizzeria, Petro's Chili and Chips, Knoxville Soap, Candle and Gifts, right over there, French Market, Phoenix Pharmacy and Fountain, Status Doe, Maple Hall, and Babalu, and they all have something today that will be gone tomorrow, so please go and pick up your music-themed gifts, treats, and meals before they are gone. 
Now it is my privilege to introduce a man who is as responsible for Knoxville Opera's education program as anybody has ever been. He's more responsible, really, than anybody else. Walter Menser is the former director of music of the Knox County School System. There's nothing Walter has not done for Knox County Schools over the last 98,000 years, right, Walter? It's been, it's been 98,000 years, yeah. right? And uh, we have been privileged to have Walter as not just a supporter, not just as a board member, but as someone who is in the trenches doing work for us every day to make sure that we have the greatest impact we can on school children. Uh, Walter is here to introduce the Barber of Seville. Walter, take it away. Thank you, Brian. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. One of the most famous opera comedies is The Barber of Seville. It was written and composed by Italian composer Gioacchino Rossini in 1816. This is the same Rossini who gave his name to Knoxville Opera's annual Rossini Festival, which will happily return to downtown Knoxville next April, which we're looking forward to. Knoxville Opera has produced The Barber of Seville four times in 1980, 1991, 1999, and 2010. Millions of people first hear the music of this work as children watching Bugs Bunny cartoons. And more recently, many of us enjoy watching the famous Figaro aria performed by Robin Williams at the beginning of Mrs. Doubtfire. Figaro, town barber and jack of all trades, learns that Count Almaviva loves the young, rich Rosina, the ward and intended wife of Dr. Bartolo. Rosina is equally smitten with the Count, whom she has only seen from afar. Figaro masterminds an elopement for the two, employing a series of disguises and ruses that bring the two together in the nick of time. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the cast Soprano, Rochelle Bard, who has sung Norma, El Trovatore, Mary Queen of Scots with the Knoxville Opera, distinguished international tenor, Norman Schenkel, who was to do the Barber of Seville. As you've heard, it was canceled because of the COVID, COVID virus. And baritone, Brandon Henriksen, who appeared in Knoxville Opera's production of Torrindo. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our cast for the Barber of Seville. Con la donnetta, col 
carriere con la donetta tra la 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 con il cavaliere tra la 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 già comincio a diventare sì all'idea di quel metallo un vulcano la mia mente incomincia a diventare sì, sì. all'idea di quel metallo un vulcano la mia mente incomincia a diventare a diventare a diventare un vulcano la comincio a diventare Qualche petto, qualche petto sorprendente del vulcano, del vulcan della tua mente. Qualche mostro, qualche mostro singolar del vulcan della tua mente. Qualche mostro singolar, sì, sì. Del vulcan della tua mente, qualche mostro singolar, sì, singolar, sì, singolar, qualche mostro singolar. Voi dovresti travestirvi, per esempio, Da soldato, 
da soldato. Sì, signore. Da soldato. E che si fa? Che si fa? Che si fa? Oggi arriva un reggimento, oggi arriva un reggimento. Sì, e mio amico il colonnello, e mio amico il colonnello. Non... E poi, cospetto, della volta col biglietto, quella porta s'aprirà. Che ne dite, mio signore, non vi par, non l'ho trovata. Oh. Che invenzione, 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 Il meglio mi scordavo, dimmi un po' la tua bottega per trovarti dove sta la bottega, non si sbaglia, guardi bene, eccolo là. Numero 15, amavo manga, quattro gradini, facciata bianca. Il mio cor ferito e 
Siete voi per la rosina, siete voi, siete voi per la rosina, o oh, che volpe sopra fina, o oh, che volpe sopra fina, ma la brada par come si ma.
Rossini, the barber of Seville. Oh. Give us a few minutes and we'll be back with La Boheme. get going with La Boheme, I just wanted to mention that all day long today there is something called an impresario trail, which uh, is offering specials to us. It's very important, as the mayor knows, to shop downtown, shop local. 
And today we have the following uh, businesses that are offering uh, specials for you to enjoy today. And they are Bistro at the Bijou, that's right next door here. Dazzo's Pizzeria, that's there. Petro's Chili and Chips up that way. Knoxville Soap Candle and Gifts there. How am I doing, Mayor? Am I do I'm pointing in the right directions. The French Market, Phoenix Pharmacy, Fountain, Status Stowe, Maple Hall, and Baba Lou all have something for you. So please uh, go to these uh, wonderful folks and uh, pick up your music-themed gifts, treats, and meals before the day is done. It is now my great privilege and pleasure to introduce the mayor of the city of Knoxville, who has done so much for us, and we so appreciate her and her work and her administration, India Kincannon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Brian, and uh, all the, the talented uh, performers here today. It's such... I have, I'm going to introduce the La Boheme and, and share some information about that, but I just want to say it's uh, such a pleasure to be here to say welcome back to live performing arts uh, and to thank the Knoxville Opera for all that you have done to keep the arts alive in the past uh, year. We've missed uh, the, the grand operas that we normally love to enjoy, but you've been doing opera regattas and virtual events and all kinds of other things to um, keep our spirits intact and, and alive during some challenging times. So just want to um, thank you for that and, and uh, congratulate you for launching this uh, event today too. So thank you. Thank you, Knoxville Opera. The arts are back. Downtown's back. The arts are such an important part of what makes our city great. So. Um, now, let me introduce the, uh, what the next uh, performance is going to be. Italian composer Giacomo Puccini may have written only 12 operas, but he scored eternal triumphs with most of them. This segment of today's musical theater marathon is devoted to his La Boheme, which was premiered in Turin, Italy in 1896. Knoxville Opera has produced the opera in 1982, 2003, 2007, and 2013. You may be interested to know that La Boheme was the source of inspiration for the Broadway musical Rent. Therein, Puccini's Bohemian Paris was transformed into a community of struggling artists living in Manhattan's Alphabet City under the specter of HIV, which struck a powerful chord with the entire generation. Puccini's highly expressive opera draws from a collection of true life sketches describing the tribulations among Bohemians, the poor artists of Paris's Latin Quarter, and two particular couples, Rodolfo, raise your hand, Rodolfo. Rodolfo, the poet, is in love with the frail seamstress Mimi. There's our Mimi. Mar Marcello, the painter, is involved in a rocky affair with the flirtatious Musetta. Puccini's beloved classic follows them all as they navigate poverty, illness, jealousy, love, and Mimi's tragic death. We will hear Rodolfo and Mimi's first act encounter, Mimi's heartbreaking Act 3 aria, a duet for the two men from Act 4, and, a, and close with Musetta's popular waltz from Act 2. It is my pleasure to introduce our cast, soprano Maria Clark. <laughs> Maria, who has, perf has performed in the Knoxville Opera, goes to church concert and a concert at Sacred Heart Cathedral, and soprano Jacqueline Brackeen. Brackeen. Jacqueline is a soloist in over 100 Knoxville Opera education and community programs and tenor Aaron Short. Aaron sang the principal tenor role in Knoxville Opera's Lucia di Lammermoor. Is that close? Did, okay. good, good. And their education tour of Turandot. Sorry, my pronunciation. Okay. We also welcome baritone Michael Romer, a recent addition to Knoxville Opera's roster. They will be accompanied by Knoxville Opera Artistic Director, Brian Seleski. All right, without further ado, I'll Here get off go. the stage and enjoy the performance. Shiris Kaldar, 
Cosa faccio? Scrivo, ecco nel vivo, vivo. In povertà mi allieta, sciaro da gran signore, rimeriti d'amore, per sogni e per chi Castel in aria, l'anima milionaria, all'alta via portiere, con tutti i gioi.
guardimi alla seggiola. <ride> Bravo Puccini, huh? Yeah, Puccini. Give us a few minutes and we will set up for what's next. I don't know. doing something today called an impresario trail. Everyone knows that it's important to shop local and shop downtown. So there are businesses today that are participating with us and we would love for you to visit them and take advantage of what they have for us today. Specials, music themed gifts, treats, etc. They are Bistro at the Bijou, Dotsos Pizzeria, Petra's Chili and Chips, Knoxville Soap Candle and Gifts, French Market, Phoenix Pharmacy and Fountain, Statisto, Maple Hall and Babalu. So please visit them today. And now, you know, it doesn't look like I'm much older than Becky. <laughs> but do you know that years ago, the uh, Tennessee Arts Commission and Tennesseans for the Arts had a program to adopt a legislator. And we adopted 
Becky Massey. And so I have been her dad for over 10 years. I know I don't look old enough, but, but I have been her father for over 10 years. And I can't tell you how much support, not only Knoxville Opera, that the arts in general have gotten from Becky and her friends in Nashville. We are indebted to you, Becky, for your support. And thank you for all of the incredible work you do for us, for everybody in Nashville. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So please welcome Senator Becky Massey. Thank you, Brian. And thank you for everybody that has come out and, and dealing with the heat today. The umbrellas do help, but it's still hot. I know my HVAC is out at my house and we're having to get a new one. So we've been dealing with the heat there, but uh, it is an honor to serve. And uh, actually I hold the honor of being the chair of the Arts Caucus for the Tennessee General Assembly, which is uh, to support all of our arts. Uh, you know, I, from, from our, our visual artists to our choreographers and dancers like my daughter is to, to our opera and, and folks that can sing like I can't. Um, but it is just an honor. And the opera is, you know, just makes such a big difference to our community. And, you know, started back in 1978 here in Knoxville. And, and we're just pleased to have them as a part of our community, adding to the fabric of of all the things that makes Knoxville the best city in the best state in the country. So, anyway. Uh, I get the pleasure of uh, introducing uh, Fiddler on the Roof. And uh, uh, Jerry Bach, Sheldon Harnick, and Joseph Stein created a musical theater masterpiece in 1964 when they crafted the musical version of Shalom Alikum, uh, tale of Tevi and his daughters in the groundbreaking Fiddler on the Roof. Up to that time, musicals had predominantly conveyed Christian Americans, occasionally exploring some Jewish themes. Fiddler on the Roof, however, was a poignant, funny, heartfelt, and ultimately tragic story about a town of impoverished Jewish families in pre-revolutionary Russia, whose lives were about to take a drastic turn due to growing anti-Semitism. It was the first Broadway musical in history to surpass 3,000 performances, but it still holds a, the, the same message of a beacon of love, life, and tolerance. So it's just a great uh, opera, musical, Broadway musical, and, uh, and movie. So it's, it's past all genres there. But it is my pleasure now to introduce our cast, mezzo-soprano Jennifer Diaz Agostino. Uh, there we go. I didn't know which side they were on. She is a, Jennifer's a former student and now on the faculty of the University of Tennessee. We have mezzo-soprano Aubrey Odell. Uh, Aubrey, who has appeared in the Knox Flopper's production of Romeo and Juliet, along with community concerts and baritones, Frank Rosamond Sr. Uh, no, this senior, right? No. <laughs> no. And Frank Rosamond Jr., both appearing with Knoxville Opera for the first time at today's concert. They will be accompanied by Knoxville Opera's artistic director, uh, Frank Selesky. Brian Selesky. There's too many Franks up here. Brian Selesky. Yes, yes. Uh, and let us all give them a big hand as they get started. Thank you. like 
likely sight It might not mean a thing But then again it might Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a find, catch me a catch. Matchmaker, matchmaker, look through your book and make me a perfect match. Matchmaker, matchmaker, I'll bring the veil. You bring the groom, slender and frail. Bring me a ring, for I'm longing to be the envy. Night after night in the dark I'm alone, so find me a match of my own. Matchmaker, matchmaker, you know that I'm still very young. Please take your time. Up to this minute I misunderstood that I could get stuck for good. Dear Dear Lord, you have made many, many poor people, and I realize that there is no shame in being poor, but there is no great honor either. So what would have been so terrible if I had a small fortune? If I were a rich man, Diddle deedle diddle diggle diddle deedle diddle dum. All day long I'd biddy biddy bum. If I were a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. Diddle deedle diddle digger deedle deedle diddle dum. If I were a biddy biddy rich, digger diggle deedle diddle man. I'd build a big tall house with rooms by the dozen Right in the middle of the town A fine tin roof with real wooden floors below There would be one long staircase just going up And one even longer going down And one more leading nowhere for sure. Oi, if I were a rich man, diddle deedle diddle digga diggy deedle diddle dum. All day long I'd biddy biddy bum. If I were a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. Diddle deedle diddle digga deedle deedle diddle dum. Diga, 
jai good jeetle jeetle man if i were rich i'd have the time that i lack to sit in the synagogue and pray and maybe have a seat by the eastern wall and i'd discuss the holy books with the learned men seven hours every day and that would be the sweetest thing of all boy if i were a rich man Diddle deedle diddle digger digger deedle diddle dum. All day long I'd biddy biddy bum. If I were a wealthy man, oh, wouldn't have to work hard. Deedle diddle digger digger diddle deedle diddle dum. Lord, who made the lion and the lamb? You decreed I should be who I am. Would it spoil some vast eternal plan if I were a wealthy man? Bye. 
Is this the little girl I carry? Is this the little boy at play? Oh, 
A fiddler on the roof. Sounds crazy, no? But in our little village of Anatevka, you might say that every one of us is a fiddler on the roof, trying to scratch out a pleasant tune without breaking his neck. It isn't easy, and you may ask, why do we stay up there if it's so dangerous? We stay because Anatevka is our home. And how do we keep our balance? That I can tell you in a word. Tradition. 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 Traditions, 
our lives would be as shaky as a fiddler on the roof. Fiddler on the roof. Thank you so much. Give us a couple of minutes, and uh, I think we're on to Mary Widow. It is the Mary Widow. I've seen you people before somewhere. How late are we behind? Oh, it's not bad. Why a bed after? <laughs> For those of you, am I on? For those of you who were not with us 30 minutes ago, it is once again my pleasure to introduce Senator Becky Massey to introduce our next segment. Take it away, Becky. Thank you, Brian, and thank you for having me here today. It's always an honor to help out the opera. Year, many years, my husband and I used to help do your all's uh, computerized checkout at your charitable auctions. So it's always great to support the opera. Uh, and appreciate each of you all being here today. Um, I get to introduce the Merry Widow, and basically this is a joyful music, dance, and light romance have made the Merry Widow a universal favorite since the operetta's first performance in Vienna, Austria in 1905. Who here was alive in 1905? Okay, never mind, never mind. Um, the operetta by Franz Lehar uh, served as Knoxville Opera's second production back in 1979 and it starred our very own Mary Costa. Um, we are in Paris at a party for the ruler of the imaginary land of Petrovania. Uh, the, the wealthy Petrovanian widow, Hannah, uh, is being pursued by various Parisian suitors. Her countrymen fear that she will bankrupt their country if she marries a foreigner. Petrovanian Prince Danilo woos her despite having been rejected once before. The story also involves a forbidden romance between Camille, the French attache to the embassy, and Valencia, the, the wife of Baron Zeta. In the end, Hanna agrees to marry Danilo and all ends well for Petrovania. It is my pleasure to introduce our cast, soprano Rochelle Bard, Rochelle has sang, sung Norma, um, El Travatora, uh, and Mary Queen of Scots with Knoxville Opera. Soprano uh, Jacqueline Burkeen. Um, Jacqueline is the soloist in over 100, she must be good, right? <laughs> uh, Knoxville Opera Education and Community Programs. Distinguished, and then we have distinguished international tenor Norman Shankle. There you go. Well, you weren't raising your hand, so. Okay. Um, Norman was, uh, was due to sing the Barber of Seville uh, with Knoxville Opera in April, but we know what happened this past season of COVID. Um, so we're, we're glad to have him here today. And baritone Brandon Hendrickson. And Brandon appeared in Knoxville Opera's production of Turndot. Uh, they will be accompanied by Knoxville Opera Artistic Director, Brian Seleski. We don't have Franks out here this time. So thank you all. Enjoy. Mine. 
desk by noon, but I am somewhere else quite soon. They can't expect for what they pay to keep me at my desk all day. And when the memo's what they ask, I give an unburling the task, because a diplomat, you see, must be a man of me. History. A diplomat is not a clerk who can be drowned in paperwork. I do as little as I can, yet I'm a most exhausted man. And after such a taxing day, I need to spend my nights at play. So when my dreary days are done, I dedicate my nights to fun. I find it at Maxine's, where pleasure brightly gleams, with girls in this oasis, I'm on a first name base. Juju, go, 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 go,
my rage is too immense. Easy there, my lad, come down. Before you wait, my dear madame, will you agree with a story? Indeed, and with great pleasure, sir, as you can see, I'm waiting breathlessly. Tell it quickly. <laughs> Thank you kindly. There once was a prince and princess who vowed that one day they would wed, but somehow this joy was denied them, at least in the book that I read. The prince kept his feelings unspoken, Concealing the depth of his pain, the princess grew swiftly impatient. The prince kept on hoping in vain. One day, this impetuous princess, with neither a word nor a glance, decided to marry another. Thus ending this youthful romance. Gracious and beautiful princess, you've taken me quite by surprise. I thought that our vows were in earnest. I see they were nothing but lies. But if you Sleep just as soundly as ever. The prince was the speaker, not I. He had these words in his anger. Go at him, much good may it do. And then with a flourish he left her. Exactly as I mean to do. Five dollars. 
I know his damn production. <laughs> well, I owed you that already. <laughs> now I know you too. Oh, you want me? Oh, oh, there we go. Uh, what time is it now? So now we go from uh, Petrovania and Paris to Rome, Italy and Tosca. It's my pleasure to introduce our next host today. Lisa Oakley is the education curator of the East Tennessee Historical Society, which is just one block up. Mm -hmm. And Lisa, take it away. Great. Well, th <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, I don't think I, I deserve that reward, but... Um, Thank you for being here today. You know, the way I look at working downtown, it's a privilege, it's a pleasure, and being able to come and really take use of all that this downtown has to offer is wonderful. And thank you to the Opera Company for, for producing this today, and we look forward to making this history together um, as we enjoy the rest of the program. Um, as mentioned by Mayor Kincannon earlier today, Italian composer Giacomo Puccini may have written only 12 operas, but he scored eternal triumphs with most of them. This segment of today's musical theater marathon is devoted to his Tosca, which was premiered in Rome, Italy in 1900. Nosfal Opera has produced the opera in 1984, 1994, 2000, 2008, and 2016. Most memorable was the 2016 production which took the audience on a journey from Act One at Church Street United Methodist Church to Act Two at the Old Convention Center, concluding with Act Three in the World's Fair Park Amphitheater. We are in Rome at the time of Napoleon. In a church, the patriot and artist Caveradossi paints a portrait of Mary Magdalene while dreaming of his lover, the famous opera star Floria Tosca. After assisting in the escape of a political prisoner, Caveradossi engages with Tosca about their plans to meet after her performance that evening. He calms her jealous outrage about the portrait's likeness to a local rival for his affections. The scene moves to the post office, uh, excuse me, of the office of police chief Scarpia who threatens to impose himself on her physically if she doesn't divulge the location of the escaped political prisoner. The tearful Tosca sings about her life as a devoted artist and devout Christian. Early the next morning, the jailed Caveradossi is preparing to die for his part in the prisoner's escape and mournfully recalls Tosca's beauty and the precious gift of life. Tosca enters and, give, and gives him hope that they may escape Rome together. It is my pleasure to introduce our cast. Soprano, Maria Clark, who has performed in a Knoxville Opera Goes to Church concert and a concert at Sacred Heart Cathedral. And tenor, Aaron Short, who sang the principal tenor role in Knoxville Opera's Lucia Lammermoor and their education tour of Tyranido. They will be accompanied by Knoxville Opera Artistic Director, Brian Selesky. Thank you.
lasciarmi al lavoro Tanti per mondo Aspetto Aspetto Il tatatonti Mama Tatatonti 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 Un occaso Riposi Il tuo vestito
That brings our Tosca to a conclusion. Give us a couple of minutes, and boy, will we change genres. Fantastics. back on and they'll just keep singing because they are very kind people. to the Fantastics, and I'm going to do the intro, and then when Fantastics is over, I'll be back to do Traviata. Fantastics. Fantastics. You get yourself all comfy. Welcome back, everyone. I see all the intelligent people, or most of the intelligent people, are in the shade. Uh, some people have umbrellas, and Cynthia, Cynthia is going to charge us for sitting here today in the sun. I got it. I expect the invoice Monday morning, Cynthia. Uh, it is my pleasure to introduce uh, a phenomenal show, a unique show in the history of musical theater. There are winners, and then there are the ultimate winners. The next play made its debut in 1960 off-Broadway, and listen to these numbers. It ran for 42 years. 42 years, 17,162 performances, making it the world's longest-running musical, period. Even Phantom of the Opera cannot compare to that. Now, as of 2010, the original investors, and don't you wish you were one of them, had earned 240 times their initial investment. Money. 
We're talking about the Fantastics, which is played throughout the United States and at least 67 foreign countries. When I was a child, I had the privilege of seeing the show at the original Sullivan Street Playhouse in Greenwich Village, and so impressed I was with the Fantastics that it was the first score I ever purchased. The music of Harvey Schmidt, lyrics by Tom Jones, tells an allegorical story concerning two neighboring fathers who trick their children into falling in love by pretending to feud amongst themselves. It's my pleasure to introduce our cast, soprano Jackie Burkeen, soloist in over 100 Knoxville Opera Education and Community Programs, and baritones Frank Rosamond Sr. and Jr., both appearing with Knoxville Opera for the first time at today's concert. I should mention that uh, Frank will be the chairman of the board of Knoxville Opera in about five and a half minutes when the clock turns July 1st. Uh, they will be accompanied by my fabulous colleague behind me, Eileen Downey, who's on the faculty at UT, but who's played so many wonderful performances and productions with us. I am in her debt all the time. And so here are the Fantastics. September when life was slow and oh so mellow. Try to remember the kind of September when grass was green and grain was yellow. Try to remember the kind of September when you were a tender and callow fellow. Try to remember, and if you remember, then follow. so tender that no one wept except the willow. Try to remember when life was so tender that dreams were kept beside your pillow. Try to remember when life was so tender that love was an ember about to below. Try to remember, and if you remember, then follow. December, it's nice to remember, although you know the snow will follow. Deep in December, it's nice to remember without a hurt, the heart is hollow. Deep in December, it's nice to remember the fire of September that made us mellow. Deep in December our hearts should remember and follow. I'd like to swim in a clear blue 
like an iceberg and everything were frozen and tears turned into icicles in the eye and snow came pouring and sleet and ice came stabbing like a knife then you are heat a fire alive with heat Flame that thaws the iceberg with its heat. With heat? You are heat. <laughs> love, I am love. You are love. I am love. Better far than, than a metaphor can ever, ever be. Love. The one trustworthy star you are, I am. you are, I am. you are September, a special mystery to me, to me, to me. To me. you are sunlight, <laughs> moonlight, mountains, valleys, the microscopic inside of a leaf, my joy, my grief.
you wonder how these things begin. Well, this begins with a glen. It begins with a season which, for want of a better word, we might as well call September. It begins with a forest where the woodchucks woo and leaves wax green and vines entwine like lovers. Try and see it, not with your eyes, for they are wise, but see it with your ears, the cool green breathing of the leaves, and hear it with the inside of your hand, the soundless sound of shadows flicking light. Celebrate sensation. Recall that secret place. You've been there, you remember. That special place where once, just once in your crowded, sunlit lifetime, you hid away in the shadows from the tyranny of time. That spot beside the clover where someone's hand held your hand and love was sweeter than the berries or the honey or the stinging taste of mint. It is September before a rainfall, a perfect time to be in love.
The girl must go, a boy may go, the girl must stay, thus runs the world away. See, he sees it, and the world seems very grand. It's a well-known song and the tune is bitter But it doesn't take long to learn I can learn That pretty little world that beams so bright That pretty little world that seems delightful can burn Let me learn Let me learn oh, I can see Ready? I can hear it. Siren singing. Inside my ear, I hear them all singing. Come learn. Who knows? Maybe all the visions that I see may be waiting just for me to say. Take me there and make me see it. Make me feel it. I know it so, I know that it really may be. Not only glitter, but once there, they burn. I can see it. I he can hear it. Siren singing. Siren singing. Don't listen closer. Maybe you'll never return. Maybe waiting just for him to say, 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 take me there and make me a part of it. Make him say, make him say, make him say, make him say, he knows it so, he knows that it really may be.
plant a radish get a radish never any doubt that's why i love vegetables you know what you're about plant a turnip get a turnip maybe you'll get two that's why i love vegetables you know that they'll come through they're dependable they'll be friendable they're the best pal a parent's ever known while with children it's bewildering you don't know until the seed is nearly grown just what you've sown so plant a carrot get a carrot not a brussels sprout that's why i love vegetables you know what they're about life is merry if it's very vegetary and a man who plants a garden is a very happy man. Plant a beanstalk, get a beanstalk just the same as Jack. Then if you don't like it, you can always take it back. But if your issue doesn't kiss you, then I wish you luck. For once you planted children, you're absolutely stuck. Every turnip green, every kidney bean, every plant grows according to the plot. While with progeny, it's hot progeny. For as soon as you think you know what kind you've got, it's what they're not. So plant a cabbage, get a cabbage, not a tower crowd. That's why I love vegetables, you know what you're about. Life is very if it's very vegetary, and a man who plants a garden is a very happy man. A vegetary, very merry veg.
remember without a hurt the heart is hollow deep in december it's nice to remember the fire of september that made us mellow deep in december our And We're ready. Am I on? Yes, I am. It's now my pleasure to introduce to you our next host, hostess, Beth Hamill. Beth is the executive director of the Cancer Support Community. If you're unaware of this fantastic organization, they have been in service to the cancer uh, victims for how many? 31. 31 years. 31 years. They do amazing work. They have fantastic programming. It's been Knoxville Opera's privilege to perform for the members of the cancer support community every year, I think, since I arrived 16 years ago. Mm -hmm. First we were in that house, and then we moved from the house to uh, Cherokee Mills That's right. on Sutherland. Uh, I can't just... I can't say enough great things about you, Beth, and, and everything that you and your people have done. Thank you for your contributions to our community. Please let the folks know about La Traviata. Yes. If Knoxville Opera is known for only one opera, it's Shirley Verde's La Traviata. The opera, which premiered in Venice, Italy in 1853, served as the inaugural production of Knoxville Opera in 1978, starring Knoxville's own Mary Costa. Three more productions have since been seen in 1989, 1998, and 2011. When first performed, La Traviata created an outrage with its sympathetic portrayal of Violetta, the ailing courtesan who was redeemed by love. When she learns of Alfredo's adoration for her, the sickly Violeta hesitantly abandons a life of revelry to live with her lover, and the two are blissfully happy. But Alfredo's father warns Violeta that her scandalous past threatens his son's future and asks her to abandon him. The tormented Violeta agrees to return to her old ways, leaving Alfredo furious at her apparent betrayal. Overcome with grief, Alfredo's father takes pity on the mortally ill Violetta and informs his son of her sacrifice. 
Alfredo rushes to Violetta's side, arriving in time for a tragic deathbed duet. It is my pleasure to introduce our cast, soprano Rochelle Baird, who has sung Norma, Il Traviata, or Il, I'm sorry, Il Travatore, and Mary Queen of Scots with Knoxville Opera. Distinguished international tenor Norman Schenkel, who was due to sing The Barber of Seville with the Knoxville Opera in April, but we know what happened this past season because of COVID. And baritone Brandon Hendrickson, who appeared in Knoxville Opera's production of Turndo. They will be accompanied by Knoxville Opera Artistic Director Brian Seleski. Croce, croce 
delizia, croce delizia, delizia al cor. Ma se già ver, ditemi, solo mi so, io soffro, amo tutto, vedo tutto, uno così terro d'amore, io sono
Thank you. Give us just a couple of minutes. And uh, Valkyra, we're doing Valkyra next. We're going to pass out the parts and let them all sing the Valkyries. No, we're going to uh, do Carousel next. Give us just a minute. After this one, you're the host for the following. Correct. And this is the Esther of the Yes. We're ready to go. Carousel. 
Carousel. Carousel was the second musical by the team of Richard Rodgers and Oscar Hammerstein II. It ranks as number one on many of the best musical of all time lists, including being the favorite of the composer himself. Carousel opened on Broadway in April 1945, just one month prior to the end of World War II in Europe. The story revolves around Carousel Barker, Billy Bigelow whose romance with the mill worker, Julie Jordan, costs both their jobs. He participates in a robbery to provide for Julie and their unborn child. Tragically, the robbery goes wrong and Billy takes his own life. Fifteen years pass. Billy is up in heaven and Billy is granted permission to return to Earth for just one day to make amends to his widow and their daughter. Like the final scene of Puccini's La Boheme, which we performed earlier today, the final scene of Carousel, You'll Never Walk Alone, is one of those moments in the theater when tissues are required. It is my pleasure to introduce you to our cast, soprano, mezzo-soprano, soprano, mezzo-soprano, mezzo -soprano, singer, uh, my friend Jennifer D'Agostino, former student and now on the faculty of the University of Tennessee, and Brandon Hendrickson, baritone, who appeared in Knoxville Opera's recent production of Turandot. They will be accompanied by my colleague, Eileen Downey. Here we go. I know how I, how it be, if I loved you. When I worked in the mill, weaving at the loom, I'd gaze absent-minded at the roof, and half the time the short all tangled in the threads, and the warp get mixed with the woof. If I loved you, but you don't. No, I don't. But somehow I can see just exactly how I'd be.
anyway, you don't love me. That's what you said, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> Ain't much wind tonight, hardly any. <laughs> you can hear a sound, not the turn of a leaf, nor the fall of a wave in the sand. The tide's creeping up on the beach like a Afraid to be caught still in the land. On a night like this, I start to wonder what life is all about. And I always say to heads are better than one to I don't need you or anyone to help me. I got it figured out myself. We ain't important. What are we? A couple of specks of nothing. Look up there. There's a hell of a lot of stars in the sky. And the sky so big, the sea looks small. And to little people, you and I, we don't count at all. <laughs> You're a funny kid. Don't ever remember meeting a girl like you. Are you trying to get me to marry you? No. Well, then, well, then what's putting it into my head? <laughs> You're different, all right. I don't know what it is. You look up now with that little, that little kid, a face like, uh, like you trusted me. I wonder what it'd be like. What? <laughs> Nothing. I know what it'd be like. <laughs> it'd be awful. I can just see myself. Kind of scrawny and pale, picking at my food, and love sick like any other guy. I'd throw away my sweater and dress up like a dude in a dicky and a collar and a tie. If I loved you. But you don't. No, I don't. But somehow I can see. Just exactly how I'd be if I loved you time and again I would try to say all I want you Oh. 
what he'll think of me. I guess he'll call me the old man. I bet he'll think I can lick every other fella's father. Well, I can. I'll bet that he'll turn out to be the spitting image of his dad. But he'll have more common sense than his puddin headed father ever had. I'll teach him to wrestle and I through a wave when we go in the mornings for our swim. His mother can teach him the way to behave, but she won't make a sissy out of him. Not him, not my boy, not See that he's named after me. I will. My boy Bill, he'll be tall and as tough as a tree. Will be like a tree, he'll grow with his head held high and his feet planted firm on the ground. And you won't see nobody dare to try to boss him or toss him around. No hot bellied baggy eyed bully will boss him around. I don't give a damn what he does, as long as he does what he likes. He can sit on his tail or work on a rail with a hammer, a hammer and spikes. He can ferry a boat on a river or pedal a pack on its back. Or work up and down the streets of the town with a whip and a horse and a hack. He can haul a scow along a canal, run a cow around a corral, <laughs> or maybe bark for a carousel. Of course it takes talent <laughs> to do that well. He might be a champ of the heavyweights, or a fella that sells you glue, or president of the United States. That'd be all right, too. His mother would like that, but he wouldn't be president unless he wanted to be. Not Bill. My boy Bill, he'll be tall and as tough as a tree. Will Bill, like a tree, he'll grow with his head held high and his feet planted firm on the ground. And you won't see nobody dare to try to boss him or toss him around. No fat-bottomed, flabby-faced, pot-belly, baggy-eyed bastard will boss him around. And I'm damned if he'll marry his boss's daughter, a skinny-lipped virgin with blood like water, will give him a peck and call it a kiss, and look in his eyes through a lorgnette. Say, why am I taking on like this? My kid ain't even been born yet. I can see him when he's 17 or so and starting to go with a girl. I can give him lots of pointers very sound on the way to get round any girl I can tell him Wait a minute Could it be? Oh, what the hell? What if he's a girl? Bill? Oh, Bill what could I do with her? What could I do for her? A bum with no money. You can have fun with a son, but you gotta be a father to a girl. She mightn't be so bad at that. 
a kid with ribbons in her hair, a kind of neat and petite little tin type of her mother. What a pair! I can just hear myself bragging about her. My little girl, pink and white as peaches and cream, is she? My little girl is half again as bright as girls are meant to be. Dozens of boys pursue to get ready before she comes. I gotta make certain that she won't be dragged up in slums with a lot of bums like me. She's gotta be sheltered and fed and dressed in the best that money can buy. I never knew how to get money, but I'll try, by God, I'll try. it or steal it or take it or die. Thank you.
everybody. Good to see you. I'm Eileen. If you missed the introduction, hey. Um, I, uh, I've been playing for Knoxville Opera for about, about 10 years now. Um, and uh, I'm really happy to be here today. I'm so glad you're here to join us. I wanted to remind you that we all love to support our local Knoxville businesses. And thanks to a lot of those amazing businesses, they have a lot of specials that are just one day only. So um, some of the businesses participating are the Bistro at the Bijou, Dazzo's Pizzeria, Petro's Chili and Chips, Knoxville Soap, Candle and Gifts, French Market, <laughs> Phoenix Pharmacy and Fountain, Status Dough, Maple Hall, and Baba Lou. They all have something to offer today that ties into our theme, which is super cool. Um, so don't forget to go get those before they're gone. Okay, so this is my fair lady, right? Yes. Cool. <laughs> I have my papers in the right order. Fabulous. So um, <clears throat> the next segment of our marathon is devoted to My Fair Lady, which is a musical based on George Bernard Shaw's, Bernard Shaw's 1913 play Pygmalion with book and lyrics by Alan J. Lerner and music by Frederick Lowe. The musical's 1956 Broadway production was a notable critical and popular success, winning the 1957 Tony Award for Best Musical. It set a record for the longest run of any musical on Broadway up to that time. It was followed by a hit London production, a popular film version, and many revivals all over the world. The original Broadway and London shows starred Rex Harrison and Julie Andrews. The 1964 film version starred Harrison and Audrey Hepburn, and it won eight Oscars. We did it here at Knoxville Opera in 1989. The story concerns snobbish phonetics professor Henry Higgins, who agrees to a bet that he can make Cockney flower girl Eliza Doolittle presentable in high society. It is my pleasure to introduce our cast, soprano Jackie Brickey, soloist in over 100 Knoxville Opera education and community programs, tenor Aaron Short over there at the end, who sang the principal tenor role in Knoxville Opera's Lucia di Lammermoor and the company's education tour of Turando, and baritone Frank Rosamond Sr., who is joining Knoxville Opera for the first time today. Welcome, Frank. Now let's travel to old London town and meet these characters. for me to eat lots of coal making lots of eat warm hands warm face warm feet oh would and it be lovely oh so lovely sitting up so blooming lutely still i would never budge till spring crept over me windowsill someone's head resting on my knee warm and tender as he can be who takes good care of me oh wouldn't it be lovely 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 Oh, so lovely 
man an arm of iron so he could do his job and never shirk. The Lord above gave man an arm of iron, but with a little bit of luck, with a little bit of luck, someone else will do the blinking work. With a little bit, with a little bit, with a little bit of luck, you'll never work. The Lord above made liquor for temptation to see if man could turn away from sin. The Lord above made liquor for temptation, but with a little bit of luck, with a little bit of luck, when temptation comes, you'll give right in. With a little bit. With a little bit, with a little bit of luck, you'll give right in. Oh, you can walk the straight and narrow, but with a little bit of luck, you'll run amok. The gentle sex was made for man to marry, to share his nest and see his food is cooked. The gentle sex was made for man to marry, but with a little bit of luck, with a little bit of luck, you can have it all and not get hooked. With a little bit, with a little bit, with a little bit of luck, you won't get hooked. With a little bit, with a little bit, with a little bit of blooming luck. The Lord above made man to help his neighbor, no matter where, on land, on sea, or foam. The Lord above made man to help his neighbor, but with a little bit of luck, with a little bit of luck, when he comes around, you won't be home. With a little bit, with a little bit, with a little bit of luck, you won't be home. They're always throwing goodness at you, but with a little bit of luck, a man can duck. Oh, it's a crime for man to go philandering and fill his wife's poor heart with greed and doubt. Oh, it's a crime for man to go philandering, but with a little bit of luck, with a little bit of luck, you can see the bloodhound don't find out. With a little bit, with a little bit, with a little bit of luck, she won't find out. With a little bit, with a little bit, with a little bit of blooming luck. A man was made to help support his children, which is the right and proper thing to do. A man was made to help support his children, but with a little bit of luck, with a little bit of luck, they'll go out and start supporting you. With a little bit, with a little bit, with a little bit of luck, they'll work for you. He doesn't have the tuppence in his pocket, the poorest bloke you'll ever hope to meet. He doesn't have a tuppence in his pocket, but with a little bit of luck, with a little bit of luck, he'll be moving up to Easy Street. With a little bit, with a little bit, of luck he's moving up with a little bit with a little bit with a little bit of blooming luck Just you wait, then Regan's just you wait. You'll be sorry, but your tears will be too late. You'll be broke and I'll have money. Will I help you? Don't be funny. Oh, oh, oh. Henry Egan's just you wait. Just you wait, Henry Egan's till you're sick. And you scream to fetch a doctor double quick. I'll be off a second later and go straight to the theater. Oh, ho, ho, Henry Higgins, just you wait. Oh, Henry Higgins, just you wait until. 
till you're swimming in the sea. Oh, Henry Higgins, and you get a cramp a little ways from me. When you yell you're gonna drown, I'll get dressed and go to town. Oh, ho, ho. Henry Higgins, town you go, Henry Higgins. Just you wait. Jim, one evening the king will say, oh, lies are old thing. I want all of England your praises to sing. Next week on the 20th of May, I proclaim lies are do. the glory of you and whatever you wish and want I gladly will do thanks a lot king says I in a manner well bred but all I want is Henry Higgins Ed Don says the king with the stroke Try it again. The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. What was that? The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. Again. The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. I think she's got it. I think she's got it. The rain in Spain stays mainly Play. By George, she's got it. By George, she's got it. Now, once again, where does it rain? On the plain. On the plain. And where's that soggy plain? In Spain. In Spain. The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. In Hartford, Harrisford, and Hampshire, hurricanes hardly happen. How kind of you to let me come. Now, once again, <laughs> where does it rain? On the plain, on the plain. And where's that blasted plain? Let's go. 
to bend it, my head's too light to try to set it down. Sleep, sleep, I couldn't sleep tonight, not for all the jewels in the crown. I could have danced all night, I could have danced all night, and still have begged for more. I could have Waiting for this moment, yeah. that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. 
time go by I won't care if I can be here on the street where you I'm getting married in the morning Ding dong, the bells are gonna chime Pull out the stopper, let's have a whopper But get me to the church on time I gotta be there in the morning Spruced up and looking in me prime Girls, come and kiss me, show how you miss me, but get me to the church on time. If I am dancing, roll up the floor. If I am whistling, whoop me out the door. For I'm getting married in the morning. Ding dong, the bells are gonna chime. Kick up a rumpus, but don't lose the compass and get me to the church get me to the church for god's sakes get me to the church on time Jail me, stamp me and mail me, but get me to the church on time. I gotta be there in the morning. Spruce up and looking at me prime. Some bloke who's 
sable, lift up the table, and get me to the church on time. If I am flying, then shoot me down. If I am wooing, get her out of town. For I'm getting married in the morning. Ding dong, the bells are gonna shine. Feather and Tommy, call out the army, but get me to the church. Get me to the church. For God's sake, get me to the church.
assisting maestro Brian Zaleski on all of those productions and it's been my pleasure. And now I'm really excited to be here um, doing some musical theater with y'all. Um, I wanted to remind you that um, a lot of local businesses today have some specials going on with that tie into our theme here at the performance. So um, some of those businesses participating in today's impresario trail, they, these are just one day specials, so you better get them today. Um, and the places that are offering them are the Bistro at the Bijou, Dazzo's Pizzeria, Petro's Chili and Chips, Knoxville Soap Candle and Gifts, French Market, Phoenix Pharmacy and Fountain, Status Doe, Maple Hall, and Babalu. They all have something that's musical theater or opera themed. So don't forget to get them before they're gone. All right, now it's time for South Pacific. Yay. Um, this is Rogers and Hammerstein's 1949 masterpiece, South Pacific. The creators believed their work would send a strong progressive message about racism. The musical was performed by Knoxville Opera in 1986. The plot is based on James Michener's 1947 book, Tales of the South Pacific. It centers on an American nurse stationed in a South Pacific island during World War II who falls in love with a middle-aged expatriate French plantation owner but struggles to accept his mixed-race children. A secondary romance between a U.S. Marine lieutenant and a Tonkinese girl explores his fears of the social consequences should he marry his sweetheart. It is my pleasure to introduce our cast, mezzo-soprano Laura Beth Wells, who has performed with Knoxville Opera for the first time today. Yay! <laughs> Distinguished international tenor Norman Schenkel, who was due to sing the Barbara of Seville with Knoxville Opera last April, but, you know, alas. Um, and, and bass uh, David Crawford, who has performed in Knoxville opera productions of Lucia de Lammermoor and M Madame Butterfly. I should mention that David has the distinction of having sung in hundreds of performances with the Metropolitan Opera in New York since 2007. So enjoy. I need. This is what I've longed for. Someone young and smiling, climbing up my hill. We are not alike. Probably I'd bore him. He's a cultured Frenchman. I'm a little hit. Younger men than I, officers and doctors, probably pursue her. She could have her pick. Wonder why I feel jittery and jumpy. I am like a schoolgirl waiting for a dance. Can I ask her now? I am like a schoolboy. What will be her answer? Do I have a chance? Some enchanted evening, you may see a stranger. See a stranger across a crowded room, and somehow you know, you know, even then, that somewhere you'll see her 
again and again Some enchanted evening Someone may be laughing You may hear her laughing Across a crowded room and night after night, as strange as it seems, the sound of her laughter will sing in your dreams. Who can explain it? Who can tell you why? Fools give you reasons Wise men never try Some enchanted evening When you find your true love When you feel her call you Across a crowded room Then fly to her side Man right out of my 
hair. I'm gonna wash that man right out of my hair. I'm gonna wash that man right out of my hair and send him on his way. I expect every one of my crowd to make fun of my proud protestations of faith in romance. And they'll say I'm naive as a bait to believe any fable I hear from a person in pants. I'll face them and argue their doubts away. Loudly, I'll sing about flowers and spring. Flatly, I'll stand on my little flat feet and say, Love is a grand and a beautiful thing. I'm not ashamed to reveal the world famous feeling I feel. I'm as corny as Kansas in August. I'm as normal as blueberry pie. No more a smart little girl with no heart. I have found me a wonderful guy. I am in a conventional diver with a conventional star in my eye. And you will note there's a lump in my throat when I speak of that wonderful guy. I'm as trite and as gay as a daisy in May, a cliché coming true. I'm bromotic and bright as a moon happy night, pouring light on the dew. I'm as corny as Kansas in August, high as the flag on the 4th of July. If you'll excuse an expression I use, I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love with
And when your youth and joy invade my arms and fill my heart as now they do, then younger than spring. My doll is as dainty as a sparrow. Her figure is something to applaud. Where she's narrow, she's narrow as an arrow. And she's broad, where a broad should be broad. Paradise, this 
this, this nearly was mine. Close to my heart she came, only to fly away, only to fly as day. Enchanted evening, you may see a stranger, you may 
see a stranger across a crowded room, and somehow you know, you know even then, that somewhere you'll see her again and again. Who can tell you why? Fools give you reasons Wise men never try Some enchanted evening When you find your true love When you feel her call you Across a crowded room Then fly to her side And make her your own Or all through your life you may dream All alone Once you have found him Never let him go Once you have found her of the seventh hour. Before we do our final segment this evening, I would like to thank all of my terrific colleagues for the privilege of the co collaboration that we've had during the past week working on this fantastic repertoire and all of their enthusiasm for, and for some of them, learning new repertoire and, uh, and for some old friends. My thanks to our guest hosts today for their generous contributions. My thanks to the Knoxville Opera staff our volunteers, stage manager Michael Cull, for making the event go absolutely smoothly, without a hitch. My thanks to Downtown Knoxville Alliance, Mayor Ken Cannon, the city of Knoxville, for supporting today's event. And my thanks to every Knoxville Opera contributor whose support has made, our, made possible our 100 education and community programs this season of COVID. Thank you to all of our contributors. We're going to close our musical theater marathon with Le Nozze di Figaro, The Marriage of Figaro by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Since its premiere in Vienna in 1786, 
Figaro has ranked in the top 10 foreign language operas of all time. It's had a pretty good run of over 250 years or so. That's not bad. Uh, Knoxville Opera produced Figaro in 88, 96, and 04. The Marriage of Figaro recounts the comic adventures of a certain Mr. Figaro, whose younger exploits we heard explored by Rossini in his opera, The Barber of Seville, earlier today. Figaro, Mozart's Figaro, is older now. So is his master, Count Almaviva, who ended up marrying Rosina, but the Count is tired of her. The Count pursues now the affections of her maid, Susanna, who is engaged to Figaro. Rosina, now a Countess, is forced to deal with a seeming, well, impossible web of infidelity and lies. Multiple plot twists ensue, and eventually all 11 characters are brought together in a sublime finale during which the Count begs his wife's forgiveness and Figaro and Susanna regain their trust in each other. It's my pleasure to introduce our cast, soprano Maria Clark, who has performed with Knoxville Opera both in our Knoxville Opera Goes to Church concerts and at uh, the Cathedral of the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus a month or two ago. Mezzo-soprano Aubrey Odell, old friend of ours who has appeared in countless community concerts and in our production of Romeo and Juliet, which was the last time we were on a stage. Yep. And tenor Aaron Short, who sang the principal role of Edgardo in Lucia di Lammermoor here and our education tour of Turandot. Finally, baritone Brandon Hendrickson, who appeared in our recent production of Turandot. And so without further ado, we will let Mozart have the last say. Oh, <laughs> 
già vinto la causa cosa sento in quell'occhio cadea perfidi io voglio io voglio di tal modo punirmi a piacer mio la sentenza sarà Ah, cosa 
Vivete in pace, nuovo questo contento, tu non resti contagi per darmi tormento e forse ancora per ridere, per ridere. Speranza sola, bene vedete mie, questa anima cozzola, e giubilar mi fa, e giubilar, e giubilar mi fa, e giubilar, e
Well, we almost did it without the rain. Almost. One more number. Two more minutes. And now the sublime finale of Figaro. Thank you all. <laughs> what an amazing day. Thanks to everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thanks to Mother Nature for waiting until the last five minutes. No more. No more. Oh, from the top, is that it? Oh, my gosh.